Hey guys, welcome back to Red Devil TV. Disappointment, disappointment, disappointment. That, that's all I gotta say for the Man United versus Man City game. Uh, you expect your team to turn up after four Premier League wins. Uh, some players doing very well on international break. Eriksen, Delo, um, Casemiro. Uh, but l l let me just start with this. I was quite, I, I wouldn't say disappointed, but I would say shocked with how we played against Man City. And I don't even want to put anything into the conversation and, and belief that we turned up in the second half. Man City let us have the ball. They were, they were already winning 4-0 by half-time. Haaland does a madness. Uh, Bernardo Silva ripping, up, ripping us apart. Um, but I've got to say this. A lot of people are blaming our defenders. Uh, Varane, Martinez. And I'm going to be honest. I didn't think Varane was great. I thought Martinez was actually probably... Look, you're, you're picking out the best of a bad bunch. But I thought Martinez was probably our best player Um by quite a bit, to be honest. I thought everyone was very poor. Anthony was better in the second half, but he was pretty much non-existent in the first half. But let's talk about certain players because I was kind of shocked, right? Um, you look at the midfield, okay? I wasn't too sure about the midfield anyway. Um, he's going to play players on form, so you expect um, some players to turn up naturally. Um, but what we saw against Man City was Casemiro was missed in that first half. Absolutely missed. Uh, mistakes. Um from McTominay, Eriksen and Bruno, uh, the amount of gaps that were left in midfield. I mean, what confused me the most is that we're playing Man City, the best possession-based team in the league, most likely, yeah? Um, in my opinion. You're playing a team who are probably going to have 60-70% possession. And I think the match didn't even... It didn't end up with Man City having a lot more possession than us. But that's because they let us have the ball in the second half. And either way, we were poor, regardless of us scoring three goals. Uh, Man City let us have the ball. Yes, Martial came on and I thought he'd done well. But we were poor. We were so poor. But let me get into some of these plays. I thought Sancho and Anthony were terrible in possession and in protecting our fullbacks. I thought, God, at times when Man City were attacking us, there was only McTominay and Eriksen and they were far behind. They, they were nowhere near um, where they should be in terms of helping out the defence. Uh, Delo and Malasio were both left completely exposed. I would have brought Luke Shaw on like Ten Hag done. But at half time, what I would have done, I would have changed Malassia like Ten Hag done. I would have brought on Casemiro. Don't know why he only brought him on in the 60, 60 65 minutes. Um, we were missing Casemiro in the midfield. And it showed. It showed. Because we conceded again straight away in the second half in the beginning. Um, Casemiro was incredibly missed. Yes, I did think at times he was sloppy in the second half. But what confuses me is that he says... Look, I, I didn't even care that Ronaldo didn't come on. He said this thing about how he didn't want... Pretty much he didn't want to put Ronaldo in an embarrassing situation. Pretty much that's what he meant in the, pre in the press conference after the game. What I would have done in the second half, I would have put on Ronaldo. I would have put on uh, Luke Shaw at left back. Um, I would have brought on Casemiro. And I think I would have taken off Anthony and for, for Anthony for Ronaldo. That's what I would have done. I would have put Sancho on the right. I would have put Rashford on the left. Ronaldo up top. Uh, Luke Shaw at left back and Casemiro instead of McTominay. What you would have had there is Casemiro protecting the back four like he did when he came on, a lot better than what Casemiro, uh, what McTominay could ever do. Um, you would have had Sancho on the right putting in crosses, Delo putting in crosses, Luke Shaw putting in crosses, and you would have had Rashford do what he does best on the left, which is, yes, we probably was, we still would have played a bit more counter-attacking, but we still would have had more possession. So you would have had Casemiro protecting the back four, Eriksen and Bruno doing more of what they are best at doing, which is you know, getting the ball into the attacking players, you know, those passes in between the lines from Eriksen and Bruno. Bruno, again, what we saw in the first 10 minutes was Bruno trying to do the same thing we've seen against Liverpool and Arsenal, which, look, at the end of the day, I did think we needed to do that. We did need to play, we needed a game plan where we were going to play more, more counter-attacking, but in possession, we were terrible. And there was, the players just, Sancho, my God, in, in the first 15 minutes, Sancho lost the ball three or four times and his passing was off. What it seemed like it was the play, the attacking players were thinking, okay, the defense is going to do what they do best, and then as soon as they get the ball, they're just going to pass. Also, going to try and dribble past them and just get a uh, a goal that that no one's seen coming. Pretty much, it was just going to be a goal that there's just nothing in it. It was going to be a goal that it's just individual brilliance. There's there's no team effort into it. It was just. The defence will, will, will do what they do. We'll win back the second balls if there are any and we'll pass it, they'll pass it straight to us on the wing and we'll just try and dribble past players. That's what it seemed like. And that's what we saw. Bruno passing into, into Rashford, but Rashford playing as a striker. He was non-existent. His link-up play was terrible. Um, 
But that's what the plan seemed to be. The, the wingers and the attacking players thought, let the defence do what they got to do. Once they, once they defend against Man City, which Man City had about five, six players, whilst our, our four defenders were just left exposed, they were getting troubled. And you saw it, especially our fullbacks. They were getting exposed a lot because Sancho and Anthony were not providing that um, defensive cover. They weren't helping them out. There was no protection from our, for our fullbacks. And I was quite shocked because in the games prior, we had seen Anthony and Sancho work very hard defensively. So, look, is that Tenag saying wingers, you know, stay high up? The defence in the midfield will win most of the, the interceptions and tackles in midfield and, and, and they'll pass it on to you and you can just do what you want to do sort of thing. But that doesn't seem something that Tenag would do. The only thing I'd fault Tenag in is not bringing, starting Casemiro or at least bringing him on in the beginning of the, of the second half. But the damage was already done. There was no coming back. He needed to start Casemiro. And for me, if he would have done all the changes that I would have done in the second half, Ronaldo on, Casemiro on, Luke Shaw, he did. Um, you would have seen a lot better and, and just shift Sancho to the right because I thought Anthony was very poor in the first half. More crosses into the box. You needed someone. Well, we lacked that as well. You saw it. Rashford was barely on the ball. His link-up play was terrible. There was nothing from Rashford. Um, you needed that player there, which is funny because everyone's saying Ronaldo's not going to suit this type of game. But when you're down 4-0, you need to bring him on because... You need someone who's there who can who can perhaps get a header in or perhaps get a shot off uh, inside the box or just outside the box. You need that player who can. I know everyone keeps saying you don't, you, we can't have Ronaldo, who's a player who, you know, he's just there. He's just there, and you're trying to always get a cross onto him or always just looking for him. We can't have a player like that. You need the, the team to play as a team rather than always have that central point being Ronaldo. But in this game, you kind of need that, especially in the second half, because. There was, there was no outlet there. There was no Sancho, Rashford or Anthony offering any attacking threat. There was nothing. So I would blame Tenag for not starting Casemiro and making more subs in the second half. But we were poor. Every player was poor. Um, Eriksen constantly left out of position. It, the midfield and the attack just seemed like they were... They just wanted to attack. They relied on our defence. Which is crazy. You're, you're facing Man City, the best team in the league. Champions. And you think the defence can do everything themselves. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. So I don't know where Tenag goes from here. But he's, he's definitely going to put in a a crazy talk into these players. Because I don't know what he's going to do. Now. He's going to have to make changes. He's going to have to start Casemiro. Switch uh, Rashford to the left. Maybe start Ronaldo or Martial. Martial comes on. He does well. He's probably going to start Martial. In the Europa League, who knows? But in the league, it's going to be very interesting to see what he does. Because he's he's continued to play the same team for five games in a row now. So guys, let me know what you think. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later.